Thank you, and you may be seated. We are going to get into some macabre stuff that we hope will satisfy your inner goblin's hunger for impending terror. Well, for everyone except Sydney, who can't handle our intensely ghastly content. That's probably why she was, wasn't part of the group tour that we did on Monday night. Fortunately, we had a group of who braved the Merida haunts, and Denver Curry is standing by with some of them right now. Denver Curry, what's going on? What's going on? Um, hi everyone, we're live with um, the Ghost Tour people. Um, so these guys went on a Ghost Tour recently and um, I just wanted to get their thoughts. Um, so, Stan, how did you feel about the Ghost Tour that you going on? All I have are negative thoughts. I'm just kidding, it was great, it was awesome. We learned a lot about Marietta and uh, some of the lore behind it, some of the spooky stuff and um, it was a lot of fun. Like, even if some of it's not real, it was like really great and I had a lot of fun on it. All right. Uh, thank you, Sam, for your input. Um, let's head to Laura. What would you think? Oh, it was scary, man. And that's all I have. <laughs> that's all I have. Spooky. Okay, now we're going to go to Annie. So what did you think, Annie? Um, I thought it was just really cool to learn about what Marietta used to be, and it was just good and festive and spooky. I liked it. Oh, that's really <laughs> nice, Sam. So. And Jack, what did you think? <laughs> fear the ghost, fear the ghost hole of Marietta. It is coming for you. I honestly don't know what to think of that. That's that's horrifying. Um, and, and, and finally, we have Birdie. What do you think? Um, I thought it was both really informing and actually really scary. Um, I thought one of the most scary stories that we heard about was about this woman who lives on Kennesaw Avenue, and she said that she has actually had a ghost for around 30 years. And as typical of most ghost stories, no one believed her until her brother came to visit the night. So maybe let's check that out. Well, now he went in the living, or back to the living room. This time he laid down on the couch and he was actually just about to doze off when he actually felt a firm grip on his shoulder. Well, of course that startled him. He looked up and saw a woman standing over him, a young woman. He said she had a long white dress on and that she had this big white hat on and her hair was flowing out but she also had this tattered Civil War jacket wrapped around her shoulders. Well, of course, being startled, he kind of sat up on his elbows, you know, to sit up. And as he did this, she floated up into the ceiling. Ghost, we go. Oh, wait. Sorry. Now I'm definitely in the mood for the Halloween spirit. Thank you all so much. All right, um, now let's head back to Carson and Logan with uh, more Halloween-y stuff. Thank you, Denver. That looks pretty fun. The Ghosts of Marietta Tours actually run at other times that Halloween. If you're looking for something to do, check out their website at their address on the screen. 